And in this video, we're going to talk about the primary survey. In the primary survey, first I'm going to approach the patient, I'm going to be able to full PPE. I can see this is a trauma patient, I'm going to assess, hello sir, can you talk to me? If the patient is breathing, uh, I'm happy that the airway is maintained and we we'll put high flow oxygen connected to the ball oxygen supply and make sure the mask is missing. Once I'm happy with the area, I'm going to down, go down to B. I can see the C spine in place. If C spine is not in place, I'm going to put a C spine collar just to protect the C spine. After that, I'm going to look at the breathing. Breathing, I'm going to first assess the trachea, making sure trachea is central. After that, I'm going to have a look at the chest. I'm going to inspect for any obvious bruising, any deformity, and bilateral chest rise. Uh, after that, I'm going to auscultate the chest. There are four places I'm going to auscultate in the anterior part of the chest. After auscultation, I'm going to have a feel of the chest, looking for chest fall tenderness or surgical emphysema. Um, after the breathing, I'm going to make sure I've got a pulse oximeter connected and I measure the respiratory rate. After breathing, I'm going to go down to C. As part of the C, I'm going to expose the patient and look at the abdomen any obvious bruising around the abdomen and then I'm going to feel for any abdominal pain or tenderness. As part of C, I will also apply a pelvic binder if I suspect there's a high velocity injury. Uh, and part of the C, I'm going to have a look at the central cap refill time, one, two, three, four, five. It should be ideally less than two seconds. I will look at the blood pressure monitor as well as the heart rate and I'm going to feel for the pulse. Part of the D, the form D, I'm going to assess the formal GCS or classical coma scale of the patient and also have a look at the pupils for pupillary reflex and also I want the blood glucose. Part of the E assessment, I'm going to look at the extremities, the long bones, making sure there's no deformity or any obvious signs of any external bleeding. When I've done my ABCD assessment, I'm going to go back and reassess where the patient's airway is patent. If the airway is patent, I'm going to leave the high flow oxygen on. If the airway is not patent, then I'm going to think about either a basic or advanced airway. For breathing, I've already talked about looking at the trachea, inspection of the chest, feeling for the chest for any pain or tenderness of surgical femur, oscillating the chest, abdomen, looking at the um, circulation, looking at the abdomen, pelvis, uh, looking at the blood pressure and the pulse, and uh, D, looking at the GCS, pupil reflex.